Hi, I'm Yusuf. In this video, we will look at sequential drilling. It seems like deep hole drilling. We were changing the feeds and speeds uh, between engage, cuts and retracts. In sequential drilling, we will change just feeds on holes and gaps. Okay, we can start. We choose our holes. We click OK and click Generate. Uh, this model is uh, generally aviation parts. This model, uh, this geometry uh, is generally in aviation parts. In, avi in aviation parts, there are holes that uh, have gaps between them. So, uh, the in, in the gaps, there mustn't be G1 move, there must be a faster move. So, we will manage this. Okay, we can see that there are 250 move feed rates. G0, G1, G0, G1 and G0. With this, we can uh, feed the gaps with G0. But the G0 move is, a, is very fast uh, when the tool is inside the part. So we must change it. We change it with crossover distance. I will change first that feed rate. Two times then cut rates, cut feed. We click OK and we click generate uh, thousand, two thousand, thousand, two thousand, thousand, and G0. If you want that reset move not G0, you can change the retract with for example 4 hundreds thousand two thousand thousand two thousand thousand and four thousand okay there is one more uh, value cross over distance one more parameter what's that uh, 70 and 100 the gaps length I tell the software that if uh, the value length value is under 80 make step over move and if if it's greater than 80 make cross over move okay i will change the step over distance it is 300 okay g0 1000 now three thousand thousand two thousand thousand and four thousand the last parameter is first cut and last cuts <coughs> I change the first cut and last cut with uh, 50 of cut, uh, feed rate and click generate and look what it's doing G0 uh, 5000 thousand 
a long step over move that combines last cut, step over and first cut, uh, cut, last cut, crossover, uh, first cut, cut, last cut and retract. Okay. Uh, if I change this to, for example, a hundred, I'll have step over values. Step over, cut, step over, cut, uh, last cut, and retract. And the if I change it to 60, I'll have all crossovers. Cut, last cut, crossover, first cut, cut, last cut, crossover, first cut, cut, last cut, and retract. It is very useful for these kind of parts. You can use it. It's all for sequential milling. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or advices, please write on comments. And if you like the video, please press like button.